Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm just putting my glove on because I've got a very cold hand. My name is Sarah, I'm an English teacher and language anxiety coach. And in this video, I want to share a story about one of my very clever students. Now, this student is Japanese. They are at B1 level and um, they're going through a phase of being very motivated, very hardworking, and this student is learning a lot very, very quickly. I'm very impressed with their progress. And um, the other week we had a lesson and we talked about would, used to, and the past simple. I'm not going to go into the grammar. If you want to look up the grammar, go and do that elsewhere. Would used to pass simple for talking about the past. Now, I've worked with this student for a very long time, probably about five years now, since they were below A1. So they've done really, really well. And we're in the lesson, and the student says something like, "Yeah, well, the more the more grammar I learn, the more nuanced my language." And in English, we have an idiom, my jaw hit the ground, and it means to go, because you are so shocked at something. And I couldn't believe that my student had used the word nuanced, because nuanced is a very, very high level word. I would think it's at least C1, if not C2. So I was shocked. And I asked them where they learnt it and they couldn't really remember and I was like, wow, but it's not even the fact that this student used the word, it's the fact that they used it so accurately because this is exactly what grammar does. Grammar is not about textbooks, it's not about questions, it's not about tests and exams and, you know, what's the difference between the past simple and the past continuous because that's kind of boring. But what grammar is all about is helping you speak with more nuance, more sophistication, more subtlety in your language. That's why we have different grammar structures, because they allow us to talk about things in a more subtle way. And I think that if more language teaching explained that and showed that, learning grammar would be a lot more enjoyable for you because it's not about get, getting right in a test and making your teacher or your mum and dad happy. It's about being able to talk to people and really say what it is that you want to say. Those nuances or small differences between would and used to and the past simple are really important for being accurate and natural and that's why learning grammar is important. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any comments or any questions please leave them below and um, thank you for watching.